or to add a room to your house, that's socialism. I'm Michael Savage, anti-socialist. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or SwissAmerica.com. So I will be totally pledging my allegiance to the Republican Party and the conservative principles for which it stand and we will go out and we will fight hard and we will win we will win and most importantly we will make our country great again because that's what it's all about we have to make our country great again i'm not i'm not so sure this is a good thing you know i support donald trump i had him on the show yesterday but now suddenly he has been maneuvered by the Republican Party into signing a pledge? What's that about? What does that mean? You know and I know that he's not going to win the nomination by Republican apparatchiks. They're like the Communist Party members. Uh, they're no different. Why? Because they were a Republican next to their name? You ever seen these people? You ever seen these, 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 these bureaucrats, these apparatchiks at a convention? They're frightening to behold. They do what the bosses tell them to do. And you know and I know that the bosses have already made a decision not to let Trump win. So I don't know. It doesn't look good to me. The conservative principles? He says, I will be pledging my allegiance to the Republican Party and the conservative principles for which it stands. Okay, well, yeah, for the principles which it stands, but the, the Republican Party has no Republic conservative principles at all. By the way, if you're listening to the show, have you ever heard anyone in the history of radio more succinctly tell you what socialism actually is because you're oh socialist every other day you hear talk shows socialist he's a socialist he's a socialist but you don't know what it means i boiled it down for you so you knew what it meant a socialist is what i described to you the next time you try to add a deck to your house or put an extra room in your house and you have to go before uh, someone for a permit or a license anytime you need a license to run a hot dog stand anytime you need a permit to build something you are facing a bureaucracy that is fundamentally a socialist bureaucracy. You are living in socialism. The United States of America is already 65% gone into socialism. Where do you have the idea we live in a free market economy? So I, no one ever explained it as clearly as I just did. Nobody ever did. I've never heard it well as well put. I have to give myself credit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to give myself credit. Because many people talk about socialism like it's like they're monsters. But they're not monsters. They're your daughter who took a job after getting out of college because they weren't smart enough to do anything else. So they took a job in a the government. They didn't have the brains or the guts to create a business or work in a business. So they went to work for a government agency. They're the socialists. They may be nice people. They may be very nice people. But the end result is not very nice. It's the crippling of an economy and the enslavement of a people in plain English again. Do you understand any of this? I don't know. And people listening on Thursday already, they're, they're, half, I have, they're half gone. I could tell by my instincts, I have a sixth sense in radio. I put out this great high quality stuff. I can feel already it's like a, a zone job. They're zoned out already, driving around in the pickups. The mind is already on the slurpee in the, in the, in the holder. They want their truck with a Slurpee next to it. They want to go on autopilot. They want to slurp around on a highway. That's all. Suck on a straw. They want to put it all behind. Do you blame people? You got to be nuts to put up with this pressure day and night. You, there's gotta, you know, when I was a kid in this high school, I told you this once before. Maybe you never heard it. There were always the smarter kids who said things that amazed you. They were, had, usually had smart parents. There's a little kid whose parents were doctors, two di which is unheard of in Queens. Can you lower the music? It's like dum 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 is giving me a headache already. Bum bum bum. I'm developing a thought here. Bum bum bum. I already have a, a palpitation over this. I'm not going to finish the thought. The minute I hear that, I get a palpitation. I'll be back to give you more on the Savage Nation. Don't be here. Be nowhere. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282.
Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture, and here he is, Michael Savage. It is The Savage Nation. As the world turns, I began hour one talking about Trump's loyalty oath, which I'm not happy with. Something's wrong with that picture. Whenever I see the Republican Party and the candidate like Trump, who is as anti-Republican as you can ever get because he's a conservative nationalist, uh, it means some deal was worked out behind the scenes. And uh, what it really means and portends for the future, I think, is is not good for America. But we'll have to wait and see. I'm an eternal uh, pessimist, truthfully. But there's a sliver of optimism within the pessimism. I also explain to you what socialism really is in a simple term for the average person. I made it very simple. I said every time you want to add a fence, a deck to your house, you want to expand an apartment, put up a wall, you need permits, you need licenses, correct? That's socialism. So the face of socialism is your neighbor. It doesn't mean they're bad people, but the system that they enforce is a bad system. It constrains, it constricts, it controls, it reduces, it limits a society. The opposite of that is freedom, a free market economy, which you've heard a thousand times. I explained to you how India was crippled by socialism even after the British were kicked out and India became independent. They maintained a, a bureaucracy and made it even bigger and worse. The Indian government was worse than the British government, and the Indian economy not only stalled, it died. Then something happened in the 1990s. They shed all of the old ideas that Obama is now presenting as brand new ideas because the man is a midget. You know, Obama's actually a mental midget. You don't understand this. You think he's a genius because he gets away with virtually anything. The man is a mental midget. He's stuck in the 1960s. His rhetoric is that of a stupid college teacher from the 1960s at Columbia University. The man never grew up. He's a mental midget. So he's pushing ideas that even India threw out in the 1990s. why they throw it out? Because it didn't work. They threw out all of this constrict constrictive control over people. And the economy just boomed in India. India never saw such new cities arise once the people were free to develop their nation the way they wanted to do it. Here in America, we're going through the obverse. We're going through a retrograde turn back, unlike anything ever seen in American history, because we have a mental midget running the nation. A mean, demonic mental midget. Don't get me wrong. A mean, effective mental midget. Very effective for the retrograde concepts that he pushes down our throat. So I'm trying to explain to you. What I'm explaining to you is a little different than what you hear. You say, socialism, I don't know, you don't know what to imagine. You see a guy with a beard like Karl Marx, or I don't know. But that's not socialism. The face of socialism is your daughter working for the city of New York in the water department, telling people they have to put a restrictor on their, on their, uh, on their, on their hose. The, the face of socialism is some stupid kid who just came out of college, some guy with pimples on his brains, telling you that you can't water your tree. That's socialism. Socialism is some idiot who just came out of uh, Berkeley in, 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 in the planning department telling you that to put a fence up, you need $6,000 in permits so some morons can decide what your fence should look like. That's socialism. So what happens is people say, the hell with it, I'm not going to build a fence, I don't want to build anything, I'm not expanding the house. So everything slows down, everything is crippled. Jerry Brown hasn't learned that either, another one living in the 1960s. All of these people are mental midgets with enormous power. They have no idea what it really means or what effect it really has on people. End of story, that's my opinion. I hope you've learned something. Good night, good luck, and have a good time. Now I'll take some calls. Where are we? Uh... Eileen from WABC has a good question. Eileen, what's your question? Welcome to the program. Thank you for talking about socialism. Could you please uh, educate us on when we cross from socialism into Marxism and how we can identify it in our living times right now and how dangerous it actually is? And that Socialism advocates the public ownership of property and all natural resources rather than private ownership. That's how it starts. 
the socialist system of government uh, espouses cooperation over the competitiveness of a free market economy. They assume that if the government intervenes, everyone will get along and everything will be equal. Of course, it never has worked out like that, ever. It never has. They believe that all people in society contribute to the production of goods and services, and all these goods should be shared equally. Doesn't that make sense to you if you're a college teacher at Columbia and never worked in the real world and never had to apply for a permit to sell a, a souvlaki on the streets of New York? The opposite is the capitalist system in which the individual, the person, trumps the collective and the free market determines the distribution of goods. Meaning, if more people want uh, a hot dog in the streets of New York, more carts will appear with hot, dog, hot dogs on them. If people don't want hot dogs and they want tofu dogs, hot dogs are no longer popular and they stop being made and sold. That's capitalism. Now, examples of socialist policies include a so-called living wage. Uh -huh. Minimum wage. Free higher education. Now, how's that worked out? Free higher education. Have you seen the goons in the colleges now? Have you seen what they're teaching now? They're teaching don't use he, don't use her, don't use she, don't use Mr., don't use Mrs., now they're going after masculinity. Now they don't want sports on colleges. The radical lesbian feminists are really wonderful at education, aren't they? Another example of socialist uh, policies would be Obamacare. Clearly unadulterated, pure, unadulterated socialism bordering on a Marxism. Socialists say that capitalism creates inequality. Well, does it now? Or is that people create inequality because people are unequal? Doesn't it make sense to you that some people are more talented than others and will, are willing to work harder than others? Are you telling me that the millions of bums in this country who don't work are not working because they could work? No, they're not working because Obama has given them a handout. He's given them fish instead of a fishing rod. And so that's what socialism is. Now, what is the difference between communism and socialism? Communism calls not only for public ownership of property and natural resources, but for the means of production of goods and services. That means they own all the industries, like in North Korea. They own steel, they own the internet, etc. And the a theory was from this crackpot Karl Marx, this lunatic, anti-human being Karl Marx, well, you know, his, he was a nut, just a stupid Russian nut, a jealous Russian moron who hated everybody because he was a failure. Like uh, an example of Karl Marx would be um, Bernie Sanders, another loser on life's stage who thinks that people who are better than him, quicker than him, faster than him, people who are better looking with better wives and nicer shoes and better cars are stealing it from him. That's an example of Bernie Sanders' mentality who argues that capitalism divides people because of competition. No, Bernie, that's why the NFL works, because the better athletes can be seen right before your eyes, Bernie. Or if you watch a boxing match and you see, you see two fighters going at each other, usually they're very equal, but one usually wins because he's slightly better than the other one. That, my friends, is an example of capitalism. And then usually the fighters hug each other after the fight. I love to watch boxing matches, especially like to watch Mexican fighters. I've never seen anything like it in my life. I don't know how they take the punishment. And after it, you see them, they love each other like brothers. You see the same thing in the UFC with uh, fighters. And they don't understand how people don't understand what fighting represents in the human spirit. It represents the best in mankind. It represents... Uh, the differences between one man and another. They're not put in the ring against their will. They, they are volunteered to go in the ring because they love competition and they want to prove they're better than the other man. And then they fight it out. That's competition. According to the lunatic college teacher Karl Marx, Barack Obama, Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, communism will give people a chance to develop into their very best. And it's a natural progression from socialism. And uh, there's a whole, I mean, you can write books on this and how it would uh, emerge. First, the working class gains control of society. That's what the riots are in Ferguson. They're not even the working class, they're the welfare class. So Obama 